Oh, we are absolutely live. So I guess we got started <laughs> in our thoughts. So um, again, to each and every one of you, we just want to say thank you. We are doing a coinonomics. We want to make sure that our community is really understanding the different cryptocurrencies that are out there, uh, be it for your price preference, meaning you're doing something to start to save for your retirement, diversifying your portfolio, if that's what you want to do, and or really uh, getting behind something for the purpose. And I share with you all the time that most of my investments are uh, at, in diversification or real estate and, and uh, all these other things that we do, Bitcoin included, and Bitcoin is part of my portfolio for investment purposes. And I also am very transparent about the fact that I am a recovering coinholic, but I know that it is imperative that we begin to learn and understand what cryptocurrencies are out there, how they are working for the better good of our, our world. And, um, and I do a lot of stuff because of the purpose. And this would be one of the coins that I do for a purpose. Uh, and just to let you all know, I met this young man who calls himself Captain Haiti when we were in Miami, Florida for the Bitcoin 2020 conference. His name is Martin. And when I tell you he was dressed in full superhero <laughs> costume, please <laughs> he was dressed in full costume as Captain Haiti. And, you know, he's passionate about what it is he does. And really today, I just wanted to take the time to have him come on again, both Clubhouse and we are more so on. Uh, if you go to my and go to my if you are on Clubhouse and you go to my profile, you scroll down and you'll see the meetup.com forward slash crypto plug. That is where you can get the link to actually see us on the screen. Um, but before we do that and before we go into a, a full conversation, we like for each and every one of you to just like the greenhouse above Captain Haiti's head because we just started the crypto blockchain plug group uh, for some of the events that we do that we won't be doing on Black Bitcoin Billionaire. Um, and so we want to make sure that you are a member of our club as well because we have a lot of value that we bring. And again, yes, I am working over and loving the Black Bitcoin Billionaires, but Crypto blockchain plug is our actual brick and mortar exchange where we sell Bitcoin. And a lot of times we don't talk about that on the other platform unless somebody mentions it because we're not about selling anybody anything. We're about really educating our community. So with that being said, we have a lot of fantastic things happening at crypto blockchain plug with us being an actual brick and mortar. We have people that work in so many different uh, things within the company uh, from social media to looking for these fabulous coin companies like you see here and just so happened this one came in a superhero suit walking down the streets of Miami so I didn't even have to look far but he's here and again I am going to introduce to some and present to others Mr. Martin aka Captain Haiti welcome to Coinonomics how are you tonight I'm great, Miss Naja. Thank you so much for having me. It's a great honor, a pleasure, and I'm going to do my best to get us, uh, our demography, excited and at least curious about the blockchain technology and how it could help us revolutionize the way that we engage the problems that we are facing in every one of our neighborhoods. All right. Well, thank you for that. We need that energy. And it's that same spirit that I met you last month and you just yeah. are on fire for this thing. And so I'm excited to have you on as a guest today. And again, thank you for your time and thank you for uh, just educating us. So so kind of tell us what's going on in Haiti first. Let's let's talk about that first, because that's majorly important. So what's going on? Before I, I get to say, well, they killed our president. I, uh, that was contested. Some say that he was uh, sitting up a president. Some say it was a legitimate president. Uh, that's the small politic of it. Okay. But the matter of fact is the, the country is, is mourning. Okay. We feel uh, depleted. We feel um, attacked. And um, 
we're trying to find uh, a way to make sense out of it through our history. And what I mean to say uh, to make sense out of it, out of it through our history is because I have to contextualize Haiti for everybody. Because most people, when they hear about Haiti, it's something ne negative, right? Like the earthquake or the great floods or the coup d'etat or uh, the assassination of our president. But one thing that most people don't know is what Haiti have contributed to the world to help the world be a free world the way that it is right now. So if you're Latino, if you're American, a black American, white American, if you're a Jew, if you're a Greek, if you're an Ethiopian, an African, Haiti have invested in you guys in order for you to enjoy the freedom that you have. And it's partly because of our investment of the past that they make us pay today for uh, what we have done, the big family and the big corporation and the big interests, the poverty pimps, like I call them, that gain for maintaining uh, our, uh, our people under their boots. But now with the, with the technology of cryptocurrency, the blockchain, I see a way for us to wise up and hurry up into controlling, harnessing that new knowledge. I'm not a tech guy at all, but I saw the potential of what crypto can do to help us. So when it comes to Haiti, we got to, everybody knows we're pretty proud of getting our independence of 1804. After our independence of 1804, United States, France, Spain, they all barked at Haiti. But one thing that we have to understand is Haiti back in the days represented one third of France's GDP, the largest economy in the world, the mightiest army in the world that we have defeated to take away one third of their GDP. And you don't get to have a one third GDP of France without exporting goods. Haiti was number one in exporting coffee, number one traded commodity in the, uh, back then, and sugar, okay? And what most people don't know, even into the Haitian uh, community, Haitian society, is that the United States independence is greatly inspired by Haitian coffee. Because the first act that the United States took and its way of, uh, to gain independence is to boycott Britain's tea and to replace that tea with Haitian coffee. So what's happening today, it's only a repercussion of all the investment that we have done in the world in the past and also all the potential that Haiti still has today because it's the same land. And, uh, and by the way, Haiti has $20 billion worth of gold, $120 billion worth of oil. We have the largest concentration of iridium compared to anywhere around the world. We also are rich in copper, silver, the people, the food, the music, our spirit, okay? So when you look at an, an island like that, a people like that, why wouldn't you destabilize its government so it can get access to its riches? Wow. Well, you know what? I am so happy that you went back and really talked to us about the history of Haiti because a lot of people don't know uh, why Haiti is is in the, and I don't want to say the turmoil that they in, but why they are being punished. Uh, and it's really incredible. Uh, the, the history and the, the, the things about Haiti are just, sometimes I am just flabbergasted to learn some of these things. And really quickly, I want to talk, uh, you all in Haiti have a neighbor, uh, a neighbor across, I don't know yes. whether it's a bridge or what it is. And that country is the Dominican Republic. And um, yes. I've for the longest been absolutely baffled as to how uh, Dominican Republic, the folks I heard in the Dominican Republic are so prejudiced against those that come from Haiti, those that have darker skin. What is all that about? Well, white supremacy exists everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. I've been, uh, uh, when I lived in Philadelphia for a little while, uh, my group of friends was mostly uh, from Chinatown, okay? There were Philippines, uh, Filipinos, uh, Vietnamese, Chinese, Japanese, all the group of Asians, right, together. And I was a Haitian one. And 
it, it, it is astonishing. It was astonishing for me to witness how the same mechanism of white supremacy was impregnated into their different country. They had the same complaints that we had. They have the same com uh, complaints and the same prejudice, right? That they, they were victimized from by the uh, lighter people being on top and the darker people being on the bottom. The lighter people represented in the media or in the political sphere, but not from the darkest people from the population. Now, if you know that most of these countries have a high pigmentation population and that pigmentation population around the world is, is, is a majority, then you understand that wherever you're in Dominican Republic, Haiti, Asia, or any other country in the world, that white supremacy is a phenomenon. It's, not, it's even an expression that I don't like to use, right? But I will say white privilege is something that people use and in order as a system to take advantage of the power, right? So yeah. the thing is, when it comes to, when it comes to Dominican Republic, we have a long history. At one point, we erased slavery in Dominican Republic the first mm -hmm. time, and we had to, do, and then we retreated to Haiti. And then we had to go back again because they didn't get it the first time. So we invaded it again to, uh, to eliminate slavery, okay? So uh, the thing is, uh, Dominican, uh, Dominicans, um, I was too many of them self-identified themselves as Spaniard, right? Latinos, right? Instead of African descent. The same way that too many Haitians don't identify themselves as African, they stay Haitian. But what I tell them is the, the Haitian Revolution have never happened. What had happened is the African Revolution in an island that was called Saint-Domingue. And that these Africans, after having defeated Napoleon, have called themselves Haitian. So the, that's why I, I don't focus too much on what separates us, but mm. more on what unifies us. We are on the same island. We have to learn from Dominicans because their economic development have existed because a corporation have been to the Dominican Republic and exploited their gold, their silver, their copper. And most of that money didn't get to the population of Dominican Republic. The number one source of, uh, of the economy of Dominican Republic is tourism, right? So how come a country that have so many riches on the same island and your number one economy, your, one of your main source of revenue is tourism and not exploitation of these resources. Dominican Republic is the, uh, the, the mines and Dominican Republic are the most profitable mines in the world when it comes to the tons of uh, rocks that you have to take out to get ounces of gold. Wow, that's incredible information. Um, and so back to Haiti, before you tell us about the Haiti coin and some of these other things, I just have to ask one other question because my husband and I talked about this so many times. We have a U.S. president that a past president that had done a lot of things over in Haiti, good or bad or indifferent, um, which were the Clintons. Do they yes. actually have resorts and stuff over in Haiti? We Are you aware? Talk about the Clinton and the only the only way we talk about the Clinton relate how uh, Bill Clinton had uh, subsidized the rice for the Arkansas farmer and had targeted Haiti to export that rice. How we forced Aristide to cut the tariff on rice from fifty percent to three percent when I think the average in the Caribbean is seven percent. Okay, so the thing is. Um, it, they are not, the, the Clintons, um, they're not in the center of our conversation. It's like uh, so when you uh, when you spice up something, you put a little bit of salt. Uh, yes. Clintons are not that relevant for us. What is, what is relevant for us, though, is the $1.2 billion worth of gold that is still in Citibank right now. When they, uh, when they invaded Haiti in 1914, right? They, uh, they stole uh, 1.5, 1.2 billion of gold that was our reserve that is still in Citibank. That's what we talk about. 
we still talk about when when America invaded Haiti in 1915, right, and changed the constitution to allow um, other people from outside of the land to come and invest and own properties in Haiti. That we talk about. We talk about the fact that France, Canada, and United States are uh, are together, uh, always mingling into our affair by it's um, by financing the corruption or supporting the 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 past dictator or always there to destabilize our government our government and partnership with the Syrian family and the Lebanese family these Arabs that have emigrated in Haiti that we have welcomed and they took advantage of the opportunities that represent Haiti and still today, when we have our government, they are the one who finance terrorism in the country. They are the one who destabilize our government. They are the one who impose the government to give them 20, 20 million of contract for electricity every month. 20 million contract per month to give electricity to the people of Haiti. But out of 30 days, only 10 days in average out of 30 days that they serve the population. Right, what? these people are the ones killing our presidents. Yeah. Wow. Well, that is some yeah. Very this is what's happening. Wow. And you know that's why we felt like it was really important for you to be able to tell your story, and then also just really share with us what we can do to start to help. Uh, because most of us that are in the cryptocurrency space. You know, it's about helping. It's about reaching out. It's about being the change that we want to see. And so yes. with that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll just quickly reset the room for you all. We are uh, here with uh, Captain Haiti. Again, he does wear a full uh, superhero suit. Uh, so I'm walking down the street with my own eyes in Miami. And so uh, so let's do this because we are in Coinonomics. And what we do every single month is we pick a coin. We kind of pick, pick and pick through it. And I don't want to say pick through it, kind of do like a little shark tank to really ask questions about the coin to find out what it is, why, how, and, you know, and give some action items. So we're just going to start going kind of down our list so that we can find out about this cryptocurrency. And did you, um, did you want to do a quick presentation or do you think you've already as, covered it? As you ask me the question, I'll show you uh, everything is on the website. But yeah, let's go ahead. Okay, perfect. The name of the coin is Little Haiti Coin. Okay. Why Little Haiti Coin? It's because I adopted the coin to resolve the, the problems of the neighborhood of Little Haiti first. Okay. Little Haiti, it's a small neighborhood in Miami that is 96 million square feet. It's like 75% of the habitant. Uh, of Little Haiti are Haitian. So we have, have identified a littering issue in uh, Little Haiti, not because of the habit of the people, because it is an underserved community, right? So like any underserved community in, in, around the United States, we have a littering problem. For example, for everywhere foot Little Haiti, you receive one Little Haiti coin in return. Okay, so that's, that's how we started the Little Haiti coin. And so far we have cleaned up 100 square feet of Little Haiti. We, uh, we have worked in partnership with the very dynamic commissioner of the area of District 5, Jeffrey Wong, had a caravan party to celebrate um, all the, the cleanness that happened in Little Haiti along with the, with the, the commander, the major of uh, the police of Little Haiti. So basically, Little Haiti coin, the utility of the coin is to get Little Haiti clean. Are you worthy to huddle Captain Haiti's shield? And most people that are not uh, into crypto, they say, hey, Captain, you have a, you have a type on your website. Uh, it's not huddle, it's hold. I'm not, it's huddle. So first thing for people to know, me, I believe more into investing into cryptocurrency instead of trading into cryptocurrency, right? When you invest, you invest into a project that you believe in. And then you're not like emotionally involved when it comes to the fluctuation uh, or, or the speculation on that coin. 
So that's why you, you, in the, the crypto world, we use the term HODL, which is an acronym for holding on for dear life. Okay. Mm -hmm. So are you worthy to hold on for dear life? Captain Haiti shield. So now, as you can see, uh, when you scroll down a little bit, you have uh, this gentleman with me. He's the founder of Cardano. His name is Charles Huskinson. Cardano is the not, is the fifth largest crypto in the in the world according to the market cap. Uh, I think to now today the market cap is about uh, I've have a market cap is about thirty three billion dollars. Okay, of market cap. So I met him. Take a picture. And then, and then he tweeted the picture, right? Which got me to be introduced to the crypto sphere. All right. So if you scroll down a little bit, uh, you'll see our uh, how we got Little Haiti Coin to be um, a utility coin and Little Haiti, a real usage of the coin and to our reality. Once for square, equal one coin. So you receive one Little Haiti Coin for every square foot you help clean up in Little Haiti. So you sponsor the square foot, it's $3. You get rewarded, you get your little Haiti coin, and you get to discover uh, the Haitian culture, discover little Haiti. You can exchange your little Haiti coin for foods and goods. What food and goods? We already have four brands that have decided to accept little Haiti coin and exchange of their goods, right? We have Valmas Cremas. You have Zappos from... Um, have you ever tried grill? Yes, I oh, have. Oh, how was it? Delicious. Okay. Well, next time you're going to be able to experience grill again by using your little Haiti coin for 7.50 little Haiti coin. You have some Zacos and little Haiti. And also you have Eben Natural, which is the Haitian uh, black castle oil for 24 little Haiti coin. And you have Mepa hot sauce. All these brands and little Haiti they are participating to our pilot of receiving little Haiti coin in exchange for their good. Scroll down a little bit, and people are gonna get to see the the, the outfit that you were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay? So wherever I, wherever I go to promote the coin, I the world approached me the same way that uh, Charles uh, approached me to take that picture. Uh, I had a brief conversation with Vitalik, the founder of Ethereum. This is Max Sarasti, the CIO of the city of, of uh, Miami. And this is the mayor of Coral Gable as well. It's just an example of how the little Haiti coin and Captain Haiti persona is attracting all celebrity politician, uh, business people, etc. Okay. Now, if you, when you invest uh, Cardano with Captain Haiti, you're actually increasing my crypto power. Because Captain Haiti's superpower is your buying power. How much money is circulating into the black community in the United States? They say $13 uh, trillion every year, right? Mm -hmm. Look, yes. Well, we have $1.2 trillion. Yes. $1.2 trillion every year. Okay, yeah. perfect. Thank you. Now, with $1.2 trillion every year, how do you harness that money in order to change our lives? You do it with crypto, with a digital asset that is for the benefit of everybody. That's what I mean by increasing Captain Haiti's crypto power. And it's not a, just applicable to uh, Captain Haiti. It's applicable for any neighborhood in, in, in the United States, right? where we have high difficulties to capitalize our business, right? And the disposable income of the population in these, in these neighborhood is not, is not much. So you face the reality of having people coming into our community and take advantage of our people. How do they take economically advantage of our people? Because we don't have access to capitalization. The banks are discriminating against us when it comes to uh, land some money. If we have properties and we try to sell it, we know they don't, they're not ready to pay as much for our properties. We are melanated, right? And so we always have challenges to get access to capital in order to build an inventory, right? Or to be competitive. And 
well, it, it, it's relevant to the crypto conversation because these other ethnicities, they come with their capital within our community. And the more capital you have, the more discount on the volume that you benefit. So when you target a community that is highly sensitive to the price of a product, when we have our own product and we are entrepreneur and we want to serve our communities, our price is very often 10 or 15% higher than the price of coming in our neighborhood. And you see all the expectation I had to, 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 to make in order to get to that point. Most of us don't understand that, right? So we're like, we don't support each other. No, the thing is we cannot afford to support each other. The more the crypto is used, the more it gains in value because you have deflation. So now imagine if you have to make a choice within your community, okay, in New York, Philadelphia, uh, uh, Detroit, Boston, to spend uh, the equivalent of a dollar, okay, to save 15%, and that same dollar somewhere else and give a chance to that dollar to gain 20, 25% because it's being used, because it's increasing in value, because it's adopted by the business, then what do you decide? To save 15% or to help generate 20, 25% on a crypto because it's being used? All right, all right. Well, let's do this because we wanna really understand the little Haiti coin so that those of us who again are learning how to vet and really critique these different cryptocurrencies, know exactly what we're doing. So we're just gonna jump right in. So we know the name of it is called Little Haiti Coin. Um, is this cryptocurrency yes. on coin market cap right now? Is it on coin market cap? It is not. Uh, right, we are right now. We are in pre-ICO. What is very important to us in our phase is to establish the value of the coin by increasing its, its utility and its adoption even before entering the market. All right, well, thank you for that. And then my next question would be, is this cryptocurrency, which we already heard that it's a utility coin, it's used for a utility and that is to clean up Little Haiti. Uh, and and yes. that is incredible. So, would you say that this coin is decentralized or would you say this coin is centralized? It's decentralized because the coin will be established by everybody using it. Yeah, first of all, we have minted only 1 million Little Haiti coin, okay? Mm -hmm. the, the goal is to distribute 300,000 Little Haiti coin to the cleanup effort, okay? We also, uh, give 50,000 Little Haiti coin to the population of Little Haiti. The population of Little Haiti is 32,000 people. So I, 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 we are in conversation right now with the Little Haiti Trust in Little Haiti to give them custody of the Little Haiti coin, 50,000, for them to distribute to the population of Little Haiti. So 300,000 plus 50,000, right, that we distribute to the population. And now after that, with the things happening in Haiti, we have decided to distribute 50,000 little Haiti coin to the population in Haiti to change their life over there. Okay, well, that's awesome. That's awesome information. Um, so let's, where is, uh, where is your enterprise located? Whoever put the little Haiti coin together, is it here in the United States? Is it over in Haiti? Where is it located? It's in Little Haiti, Miami. Okay. okay. Our Miami. address is one. Our address is one fifty six Northwest Fifty Fourth Street, uh, Miami, Florida thirty three one twenty seven. Okay. All right. And then, so how long has this cryptocurrency been in existence? We minted Little Haiti coin uh, three months ago. Three months ago. Okay. Well, that's yes. awesome. Congratulations for minting just 90 days ago, which is great. Um, yes. And I, our, you've already been all over this. So uh, what we try to get our listeners and those individuals that are working with us to learn how to vet these coins by finding out what actually is the problem that the cryptocurrency is solving. 
So we know that we're cleaning up a uh, little Haiti because we know that's the goal. Mm -hmm. uh, but specifically, it being cleaned up, like what, 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 why is that so important that little Haiti is cleaned up in Miami? To increase the quality of life of the resident of little Haiti. The started the cleanup program, you should see the way that people were coming to us and say thank you, right? It makes a difference in their life. And not only that, we have noticed that they keep the place cleaner. Is how many smiles you see in Little Haiti. That's the, the real utility of Little Haiti coin. It's the cleanup, of course, but it's having an impact and the quality of life of the people of Little Haiti. All right. Well, that is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. And we know that you are the person uh, that is representing Little Haiti Coin. And uh, you've told us so much. I guess a lot of our questions have already been answered. So how big is the community of people that are using the coin right now? We distributed a total so far of 45,000 Little Haiti Coin. Okay. Now we have found a second utility to the Little Haiti Coin, which is to fight corruption in Haiti, and which is to go against the inflation of and the currency manipulation of Haiti. Have you heard about the Bitcoin Beach yes, project sir. in El Salvador? Perfect. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. By the smile on your by the smile on your face, I can all. You see how the duplication of of Bitcoin Beach and Haiti could bring the same result, right? Because in June 6, the president of El Salvador has passed a law to make with the, his Congress, etc., right, to, to make Bitcoin a, a legal tender. That means to make it a currency, a legal currency of El Salvador. It happened because of the Bitcoin Beach project and the lesson that they got from it. So me, yeah. I talk, since, since Little Haiti Coin is built on the Cardano blockchain, well, we're going to do the Cardano Beach. And what is the Cardano Beach? The Cardano Beach is to di distribute 50,000 little Haiti coin to the students in Haiti. And as the little Haiti coin and the future gain value, the value increase in their pocket as well. So we are bringing, little, uh, we are bringing not only little Haiti, but also Haiti into a, the economic revolution of DeFi. By distributing these 50,000 coin in their pocket in Haiti, what's going to happen once we finally launch our ICO and we finally list it on the market, which we already have a, we, are, we are have already in this conversation with a partner for that, okay? Then we will be able to establish a financial system when trade between Haitians here and Haitians in Haiti. Yes, 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 yes. So um, if one wants to know how to stay in contact with you, the little Haiti coin, things that are happening over in Haiti, uh, how do they keep in contact with you? What's the website? What's your social media handles? Let us know how to stay in contact with you to find out how we can continue to help with not only little Haiti in Miami, but Haiti as well, as, as yes. they continue to mourn the loss of their president. My message, and I'm glad that you're mentioning the loss of our president, okay? Because it's only a symptom, okay, of the problem. The problem is corruption. The problem is, ma is currency manipulation. Two issues that uh, blockchains can resolve real quick. And blockchain, they resolve that issue by every one of us having skin into the game. How do you get a skin in the game? Is to go and, and support Little Haiti Coin by owning one. What you do, you sponsor uh, Haitians in Haiti that's going to install wallet into their friend's uh, phone. And we pay these people $1 per wallet that they install in Haiti. $1 per wallet they receive. The others, they receive one Little Haiti Coin on their wallet for a start. So you sponsor three people over there and you receive one little Haiti coin in your wallet as well. So that means you're partnering up 
with the population in Haiti to increase the value and the utility of the little Haiti coin. So this is my motto when it comes to Haiti. Stop sending money to Haiti. We don't want your money. Every time you send us money, they, 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 they skid it off. I'm, ser I'm serious. Because when you send us money, first of all, you lose the value of your money, right? Because we pay up to 30% of the money that we send in Haiti. Once you get over there, money as well, and then we lose part of it to inflation. Stop sending money to Haiti. Send on the same crypto. You go to cardanobeach.com and you sponsor three Haitians to receive one little Haiti coin. And you receive one little Haiti coin in return. It's $18.04. Why $18.04? That's the date of our independence. Out of that $18.04, it costs us $2 per wallet that we install for Gatsby, for the Cardano, right? So that's $6. Plus, we pay $3, a dollar per wallet, to the person installing the wallet. That's $9. Then after that, we send you a little lady coin. That's $11, right? That's $2. And then the rest is in marketing and promotion and building the coin and bringing the coin into uh, the ICO in order for us to comply into the SEC uh, laws, etc. to be able to establish the legal structure that will allow all Haitians to trade the world, to trade with Haiti using little Haiti coin. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm excited about this, excited about that. So one more time, if we want to buy Haiti coin to help support uh, people in Haiti, what site are they gonna go to? Coin, you can only receive it in reward. What you're gonna do, you're gonna sponsor three Haitians in Haiti to receive a little Haiti coin and hire another one to install it into their wallet. And to say thank you for once you're receiving something back from Haiti, we give you one little Haiti coin and reward. And as we establish the network of Haitians using the little Haiti coin, the value of the coin will increase, not only over there, but in your pocket as well. Yes, what website? cardanobeach.com cardanobeach.com so everybody has that cardanobeach.com and i'm going to just open up the floor i know uh we can't do it on steam um on steam yard but if there's anybody in clubhouse who has a question for captain haiti he can hear you through my cell phone uh because you're hearing the presentation through my cell phone but we are live on StreamYard. But are there any further, is there any questions from anybody in the audience? Please feel free to raise your hand. Okay, uh, t Mott, you can come off mute, please. All right, good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right, I had a question now. He said Cardano Beach, is this having to do with like as in the Cardano token ADA or is that something totally separate? Yes. We are. Oh, oh. Great, great question. We are built, we minted the 1 million little Haiti coin on the Cardano blockchain, okay? So that's why we are calling the project Cardano Beach because we believe in the power of Cardano. Okay, all right, that's what, I'll, that's what I needed to know, thank you. Thank you. All right, well, thank you, t -Mot. This was a fabulous, fabulous presentation. I really appreciate that history about Haiti. And, um, you know, it's always just incredible to know uh, how well our people are doing and or would be doing if we didn't have outsiders coming in, just trying to to rule and take over things and, and own what is not theirs and just so many things. But we thank Haiti for all that they have done to to secure their stance and to stay um, stay true to who they are and not really buckling because people are taking things away from them or are putting them, so to say, putting them on punishment. Because I feel like they, they've been trying to put you all on punishment as long as I've been uh, alive to really understand what's happening. And so I'm really, really, um, you know, and I know a lot of people see a lot of misconceptions about Haiti. 
Um, but I am really happy to have you today. Really happy to be a part. I will be going to Cardano Beach dot uh, com and making sure that I am supporting uh, this coin. As I said, I do most coins for a purpose. So I pray and I wish that the price of the Haiti coin continues to excel. But I also say in full transparency that anything that I invest in for a purpose, it does not matter to me whether the price goes up or down because it was for a purpose. And so uh, I will be supporting. And again, I'm so happy to have met you in your uh, Captain Haiti superhero suit walking down the street of Miami. I just was as static as I could be as I am right now. And again, I appreciate you and all that you do. If there are no further questions, we're going to go ahead and just thank everybody for joining Coinonomics. We do this every single month and we have done it for the last two years. Uh, but now, uh, because of Clubhouse, this is probably one of the only things that we're going to do in our crypto blockchain plug space because we promised that we wouldn't bring anything that the Black Bitcoin billionaires is not directly uh, involved with to the Black Bitcoin billionaires, but also just know we are a part of them uh, and we're just doing this uh, in conjunction with uh, crypto blockchain plug. So we appreciate you. Uh, are there any last words that you have, Captain Haiti? And we're going to go ahead and close out. I want to um, go back to our neighborhoods in North America and United States. OK, see a, an issue that is in your community that you need to unite around and see how crypto could resolve that issue. That way, everybody has seen in the game to see a solution to that number one social issue in your neighborhood. Once you do that, you empower everybody with the same token. So that's, I hope that the little Haiti coin is an example for you to see how it can be done in your own community. Well, thank you for that. That was a fabulous word. And again, we appreciate you and all you do. And I'm looking to not only support you in this effort, but to support Haiti and eventually visit Haiti because I'm excited. Yes. All right. Well, thanks again. <coughs> and you all be blessed.